Joining us now are Marilyn McCoo and Billy Davis Jr. Welcome, how are you both? We're doing fine. And happy to be here, nice to see you, Donna. It's so nice to see you too. I really enjoy both of you as all of the world has for many years. You're an iconic couple, so in love. Uh, you bring us so much joy through your music, just through who you are and what you represent as people. Um, you're just loved. And that love, I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think that love is universal. What was the moment that one of you saw the other and said, that's the one for me. What was that magical moment like? Well, we, did, we didn't have a magical moment. I, our moment when we first saw each other was, was like, I don't think I could ever marry her or be with her. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the way it went down. But, 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 but uh, things changed. <laughs> yes, it was, it was a slow, it was a, it was a, it was a, a thing that happened um, slowly but surely as we got to know each other. So, Billy, before we started, um, you know, on camera, I shared with you that I grew up in St. Louis, Missouri. And you said, where are you from originally? I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> yes. In fact, all the guys in the fifth dimension that were part of the fifth dimension, we were all born and raised in St. Louis, Missouri. And they knew one another before the group started. Yes. <laughs> it's such a beautiful journey. And how about you, Marilyn? Where are you from originally? Well, I grew up in Los Angeles. I was born in New Jersey. It's a long story. I'll make it short. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was born in New Jersey. I lived in Columbus, Georgia until I was seven. And then my parents decided that they wanted to move all of us out. We, there were four children. And they decided that they wanted us to grow up in Los Angeles. And so we moved out to Los Angeles and I've been here ever since. Well, congratulations to you both. And you know, there's another little tiny thing that we have in common. Um, and that is this, my very first job ever was the music librarian at Technosonic Studios in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh -huh. And the very first time that uh, Ike and Tina Turner record it, they recorded something at Technosonic Studios in St. Louis. Mm. I, and I know that you guys have a connection also to Tina Turner. Yes, well, but Tina, Tina and I used to do uh, shows together years ago when she was not Tina Turner then, she was Ann Bullock. And we, but that's before either one of us got, got to really do what we wanted to do in life. And, uh, so, uh, and we were working out of the same agency. It's called the Premier Agency. The Premier, and everything and everybody, especially when they have reached the pinnacle and the greatness of the two of you, uh, Marilyn and Billy, just the beautiful journey and that documentary of like the early days and for the two of you and how things started and the fifth dimension and, you know, that documentary, um, by Quest Love, like what's happening with yeah. you guys with that? How does that feel to be able to have that retrospect and to have everybody like so excited about those early days? <laughs> so, well, you know, the interesting thing about Summer of Soul, which was uh, the, um, the the film that that uh, Quest Love ended up winning the Academy Award. Yeah, for, right. <laughs> uh, when we did it, <laughs> when we ended up performing on that program. It was it was a it was a live it was a live show and it was in in New York, in Harlem. In Harlem. Right. And uh, the Fifth Dimension was working in in New York. Uh, we were performing at that time during uh, for a lot of the um, uh, kids that were graduating from high school, and uh, they would they came to see the Fifth Dimension. They came, we, they would go and see Diana Ross. You know whoever was mm -hmm. it, it, whoever. Uh, was uh, on stage and available that they wanted to see uh, during that time. And uh, we were invited to perform uh, at the Harlem Cultural Festival. And we were excited about it because it gave us a chance to be seen by a group of young people who really didn't know the Fifth Dimension that well. Many, mm -hmm. of, our, many of our songs at that time were known uh, on the radio on the pop stations. Mm -hmm. Even though even though our songs were hits, uh, but uh, we were we were excited to be seen by a lot of the kids that were that were coming to the 
uh, Harlem Cultural Festival that, that knew Motown, but they didn't know the fifth dimension that well. So that well, was a very exciting moment. And all of the, like your costumes and just the, the entertainment of it all and the television show that you had as a married couple, you know, on CBS and just every, every little detail about everything that you guys have ever brought to your audiences is so dynamic. There's something magical about it. At what moment during the journey, and I'm sure there's lots of moments, did you guys kind of realize that, that stardust, that moment? You know, was it a certain time on stage? Did you look at each other? Like, how did that knowing happen between the two of you as a couple? You mean when we actually fell in love? Yeah, unquote? or like when you <laughs> felt like that, when you felt like as an artistic entertainment couple that, you know what? I think, I think we've made it. I, th I think our life is going to change from this moment on. Was it a, a, a special show that you guys did together where you just had that knowing? Well, I think it was when we did uh, the Ed Sullivan show okay. uh, years ago when they, 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 they celebrated our fifth anniversary yeah. on the show. On the, uh, that, was, that was unheard of uh, uh, during that time. And uh, uh, when, they, when they did that, I felt like, boy, I think, I think we made it, you know. <laughs> but it was, it, was, it was great. Ed Sullivan really fell in love with the group. And... Uh, we just had a great time doing his show, and, and uh, we we had a great time in really doing things in New York. Period. Yeah, I uh, there were up, as there you know. Few moments, go ahead, ma'am. Yes, I was just going to say there were a few moments. Uh, the, the first time when we won the uh, that uh, Grammy award for for Up Up and Away with with the uh, group, uh, we didn't even know what a Grammy was, so uh. so we didn't know we had made it, but we were really on our way. Right. But so, but every, everybody around us was so excited. We said, "Well, I guess this is pretty important." <laughs> <laughs> and then, this, and then, the, when we won the Grammy for uh, for Aquarius, let the sun shine in. That was another special, special moment for the fifth dimension, and uh, and we felt like, "Wow, well, maybe we're you know really on our way we're on now." On our way, right, right. But right. for me, when Billy and I won the Grammy award for you don't have to be a star to be in my show. And we were now performing as a as duet, a duet. Act yeah. instead of with the fifth dimension. It was like, now I think we've really made it now. <laughs> <laughs> because you were able to have that duo career. You were, you know, and so the fifth dimension had its integrity and still remains so. And then you yes. as, you know, Marilyn McCoo and Billy Davis Jr. as the beautiful duet that you are, the duo, you have also had an equally great, authentic career. And you're right, like, I, I yeah. was reading this and I don't even need to read all these like titles of all the different songs, but I know yeah. every single word to every single song, you know, uh, you don't have to be a star. And when you say the words, you hear the melody in your head, you know, <laughs> uh, it, it, they're all the best, you know, like let the sun shine in, like just every single thing. So they do call you like um, all of your pop and soul. You're the first couple of pop and soul. You have won so many different Grammys. I think seven, seven Grammy Awards. Uh, you have had like 15 gold records. You've got platinum records. You have all these different like things. Is there one piece of memorabilia, like a playbill or something that you guys have in your house that you just, I don't know, when you look at it, it makes you smile? I don't know. Is this, can well, you think of something specific? Well, we, we have a, uh... Uh, some uh, some some sketches by Leroy Neiman oh, yeah. that he painted, sketching us while we were in the studio, and he gave each one of us uh, a copy of of wow. the sketches that he was doing. And wow. uh, and when I look at that, it, it takes me back to the studio and the time we were really pushing to 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 make to make the music that we have made today. You know, and there's so many other cool things you've done, too. You worked on uh, the Waltons movie. What was that like for you guys? That was fun. Yeah. That was fun. I, you know, that was something that uh, we, had, we had had an opportunity through the years of uh, uh, appearing in, a, you know, a, a story here, a, 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 an acting part there. Mm -hmm. But being 
on the Waltons. You know, that was that was something that had been had happened many, 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 many years earlier. But the Waltons. Um, the, yeah, the Waltons. The yeah, Waltons. Right, right. It was coming back again. And this is new. The people that see it now, there's a generation that didn't know anything about the Waltons. Right. Right. But the, the thing that's so special about it is that the stories are beautiful. The stories are about love. The stories are about family. And these are the things that we need to see today. Yeah. And, and we're very happy to be a part of something that is so important to the young people. I'll tell you another thing that's really good about that, uh, Donna, and that's uh, when, when we, uh, through the years, we've done a lot of television. A lot of television, like different television shows, Flip Wilson and Jackie Gleason, and all these different shows, and Ed Sullivan. But 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 then we did Days of Our Lives and, and, and soap operas yeah. and things like that. <laughs> but to see ourselves on the Walters, because now we're on the big screen, you know, and 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 playing a period piece and making us making us look so old. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> well, baby, you know why? Because. Uh, no. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> well, you know, all those characters, you know, like, uh, they were all so beloved, you know, like, good night, Elizabeth. Good night, John Boy. I still say those yeah, things to yeah. my kids and they don't, they don't get it. But in my, in my smile, in my heart, <laughs> I, I do get it. I, I have in so many people too, like you are the music, you are the song book of our journey, of our lives, of every time we've gone to things, whether it's weddings or you've been a part of so many families, you know, like we all feel like we're kind of related to you. So that's, I guess for me to have you on my show, when I found out that you said you were a yes to me, I just want to tell you, thank you, because I don't know, it's an invitation, it's a dialogue or a dance, if you will, between me as a show host and having an amazing guest like yourself. Because when I get to air this in a couple of weeks, my audience, I mean, just sitting here, I could be brought to tears. Your music is fantastic. Do you guys sing to each other in the house? Do you like walk around and be like, you don't have to be a star? I mean, like, do you guys sing to each other? <laughs> Oh, you, we're going to put you on stage. You sound good. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm always walking around the house singing something, you know. And, yeah. and Billy will say sometimes, can't you just be quiet? <laughs> but but I want to tell you, Donna, that what you've said is just, it means so much to us because to realize that we have played an important part in so many people's lives through our music yeah. and, and the the uh, the things that we've done on television and now the things that we are that we've done on the Waltons, it's it's very special. It's uh, it it's more than we ever dreamed would happen. Right, right. For our careers, and we are we feel so blessed and so thankful mm -hmm. to to mean something to so many people. You certainly do, and you have this other project, Blackbird, too. Uh, I wanted to make sure that we highlight and feature you for that yeah we that's a, we're very proud of that of that project uh our, our young producer nick mendoza uh was was one of the reasons why we ended up with that project because mm -hmm. he was working with kathy island with for, from ee1 uh uh that's our record that company. record company yeah. and uh uh bmg which is the distributor and uh, they, they took us into the studio to do this. And, and Nick wanted to know how we felt about what was going on today. And uh, we were doing uh, uh, a Beatles medley in our show. And and Nick, and we were doing Blackbird. And Nick asked us, he said, well, how do you guys feel about that song and about what the people, that, what the kids are doing today out there protesting? Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when we got into that conversation and then we started saying, hey, we, we had something to say about that. And uh, we put it into music. And, yeah. and uh, Blackbird was the, uh, was the beginning of it. And we're so proud of the young people standing up and, and uh, protesting when they see things that they think are wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, they feel like people need to be more caring, uh, more concerned about one another. And uh, we felt like Blackbird was cer certainly a powerful way of expressing that and doing that Beatles song, which is, it's so meaningful and realizing that they wrote it so many years ago, right. but yet 
it, it has the same powerful meaning and message today that it did then. And once again, it's, we feel very good about being a part of this and, and being able to make a statement that we feel means a lot to a lot of people. Well, your statement of love with each other, you know, the stories that you've shared, whether they've been in the print, whether it's been books, whether it's been music, whether it's been the films, whether it's been television shows, you know, you guys look as young and as beautiful as ever. You know, you can just see the love between you. It's beautiful to see, especially around the holidays. How are you guys going to be celebrating this holiday season? Well, wait, more importantly, I want to know what is Marilyn McCoo and Billy Davis Jr., what do you guys have planned for New Year's, that New Year's Eve midnight? kiss where are you guys going to be this year we have no idea this we, we do you don't, have we, any plans no i don't know i don't know, I don't know where we're going to be but wherever we are wherever we're at we're we'll going to have together. we'll have that kiss <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have you're going to have that magical kiss well you know oh, yes, you yes. if you don't have plans come on over you know here in new york and and we can play charades and stuff i don't know right here in the studio but um thank oh, you okay Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. Thank, Thank you, Donna. you so very much. Blessings to you upon blessings. It was an honor, truly it, a gift to me and, and to all the people that watch my show. So mwah, that's my kiss to you guys. So thank you so, so much. Well, thank you for inviting us yes, to join thank you. Thank you. We're looking forward to coming back to New yes. York. In fact, we were just there at the Tiller Center and we enjoyed that so much on the island. And uh, so, you know, we always look forward to coming to New York. We get a chance to see the, the productions on Broadway. We, 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 we love it. Yeah, so we'll be well, back. Next, I was going to say, and when you do, please, I, I hope we can break some bread together and we could just celebrate life with one another in person. But thank you again. I wish you continued. Yeah, that would be I, nice. I, I, you know, oh, thank you. And continued success <laughs> to you. So big hearts of love. Yay. You guys are the best. Okay, thank you. Right. God bless you, Donna. You. You oh, God bless you, too. Marilyn McCoo, stay, Billy stay. Davis Jr., you guys, stay tuned. We've been living it up right here. Wow. Woo! I got the chills. Okay, bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> bye. -bye. bye.